Hey guys, it's Angelina, and I'm just gonna be doing like the intro right now because yeah, I kind of have to be quiet right now. So yeah, and if the, the AC's on right now, um, but yeah, this is gonna be like a voiceover. Get ready with me because I'm actually gonna go out with this look. So yeah, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And to be honest, I really don't like doing voiceovers. I like to talk a lot, as you guys could tell, but. I have to and like I was like I want to record though so you know whatever but yeah keep on watching hey guys so let's begin on this easy tutorial okay so I already primed my eyelids with this Anastasia concealer right here and I use the morphe translucent powder to set it and it's so soft I really like it and this b75 brush from morphe I used and I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Honestly, I have no clue what any of these shades' names are. I know some of them, but the ones I used, I don't know what they're called. But yeah, we're just gonna go in with our crease and, you know, do your thing and blend it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with that shade and we're just gonna go over it and, you know, blend. Yeah, just blend. Now we're gonna go in with this shade right here. And, okay, so as you get less product on your brush that's when you're gonna go into your inner corner but you're gonna start on your outer corner okay so now the fun part nyx glitter glue we're gonna use this really small precise brush because it's gonna sh get where you actually want your glitter so now we're gonna slather all the glitter on the glue first though so, you know you gotta slather all of that on so now Okay, here, I didn't really like how the colors came out, so I'm going to go in with the Anastasia um, palette, and I'm just going to add this shade in, and yeah, I just thought it made it look way better. And I recommend you to do your shadows first before applying the glue, because I find it easier if you're a beginner. Um, okay, so this is NYX Glitter Glue, and it's like a really pink, pretty color. Um, yeah, we're just going to pack this on you have to keep packing it until you're satisfied because if you just do one layer it's not going to be a lot so you're going to have to keep on packing packing and just st just stop when you're finally satisfied okay so now you're going to get a fluffy brush and just take off all the excess that you don't want now we're going to go in with a smaller brush and use the shades that we use for our our crease and we're going to go to on the bottom of our lashes and yeah, so now we're going to go in with the actual makeup now. We're using the professional, well not actual makeup, but you know, our face now. So yeah, I'm squeezing whatever's left in there because obviously there's like barely anything. But yeah, I just love this stuff so, so much. And yeah, I love how it feels on their face. So I'm just going to apply extra because I'm extra. Now we're going to smooth and put that all over our face. And it's going to feel so good on our face. Now we're going to go in with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. And we're just going to spray this all over our face. And this makes your face feel tacky. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And it's my favorite, as you can see, from Drugstore. And it's really cheap, too, and affordable. So we're just going to pump that out. It's really watery. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to use our sponge and blend, blend, blend. You already know so pretty and it's so luminous too like even though i have oily skin i love how it looks oh i just wanted to say i washed my my sponge and yeah i'm so happy because i'm really lazy at doing that so yeah um now we're gonna blend 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 still you know the drill yeah um this is really full coverage and yeah this is probably the last time i'm gonna do a voiceover too because it's such a struggle to do this like i don't know now we're going to go down our neck and, you know, because you got to go down the neck, too. You can't forget about the neck. Now we're done with the foundation. Do my little dance. Okay, so now NYX HD Concealer. And, yeah, surprisingly, I'm not using my Shape Tape Concealer. But, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't wasn't gravitated to that t today. Um, now we're going to do the um, upside down triangles. And, yeah, we're just going to do that this Concealer still is full coverage, by the way. And, yeah, we're just going to conceal the pimple on my neck to my nose and down the bridge, forehead. 
Um, Chin, I forgot to conceal my Cupid's bow too. I don't know how I forgot. And do my little dance. And we're going to be extra and do this too. I never really do this, but for the sake of the video. So now we're going to blend that in, you know, do your thing. Blend, blend. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Just keep blending, blending, blending. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to blend. So now we're done. Okay. And we're going to use our Fit Me um, foundation stick in the shade Coconut so we can contour cream contour and we're just gonna contour everywhere you know the drill already um just contour our cheeks nose and i really like the pinch small nose I'm not saying i that i don't like my real nose like my non-contour nose but you know it's okay to be extra when you do your makeup do your thing no one's gonna judge you um contouring our forehead because we want a forehead, not a five head. Just kidding. I don't think my forehead's that big. Um, but yeah, now we're going to blend. And yeah. Just blending, blending. Okay. I don't know what I did. Oh, I... Oh, I forgot to um, contour my jaw and my chin. And yeah. Um... I, I never really do this, that's why, but James Charles said if you want a sharper jaw to go on the bottom instead of, what's it called, going right onto your jaw because it'll make it look worse, I guess. So yeah, now it's all blended, now we look bronze, and now it's time to set our cream. So we're going to go in with the Too Faced pressed powder, and yeah, it smells like chocolate, and it looks like that. I've used this before. And we're going to go in with my Morphe brush from the brush set. And swirl that and set it. Just set your whole face. Set it. Because your girl is oily. And I need to set my makeup. I can't just go out. Otherwise, I will be a grease ball. Okay, so we're setting everywhere. All over our face. Now it's set. Now we're going to really set and go in with our earth sponge. And dip our beauty blender in there. And just... Cake your face. Just bake it. Just bake. It's in the oven right now. It's prepping to go to the oven right now. It's baking. Just bake everywhere. Just bake everywhere if you have to. It's okay. We understand. We need our makeup to last all day. So, yeah. Um, we're baking. Now we're going to do the everywhere. Just everywhere. T-zone everywhere. We gotta pack some extra. Now we're done. Once I see me dance, that's when I know we're done. Look at how much powder comes out though. Like, whoa, that's a lot. Now we're gonna go with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which is my favorite, as you can see. Um, I had to blow some like powder off. I'm gonna go in with another Morphe brush and I'm gonna contour using the medium shade right there. And yeah, I'm just gonna chisel out our bones our cheekbones and yeah now we're gonna go on the uh, other side and yeah just do our thing you know contour contour that forehead too and now we're gonna dust off the powder the baking powder and just blend our contour with that too because that's just my method now we're done and yeah now we're going to go in with the banana shade right there and make our T-zone brighter. And yeah, now we're done. And doing my little dance. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which smells like chocolate. So good. And it's a cool tone bronzer. Um, Now we're just going to bronze because I loved bronzer. I love like color, you know. I just love it. Okay, so now we're doing the other side. And we're bronzing too on that side. Um, and you know, now we're done. Now we're going to spray my highlighting brush with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. And I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. Collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. It's so hard to open this. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. Like, look how pretty it is. Now we're going to swirl that and be glowing to the goddess, guys. You don't understand. 
I love highlighter so much like so so much I love it look at guys I'm like blinding right now now we're gonna do it to the other side because we want to blind on both sides you know so yeah we're just gonna be blinding whoa guys look I'm shook now we're gonna you know go down our nose cupid's bow chin and we're also going to be blending our no highlighting our temples blending but yeah, look at how glowy. Now, I'm going to go in with some lip gloss. And it's a NYX Butter Gloss. I'm not sure what shade it is. Teramisu. There you, think, there you go. I think it's something like that. But I'm just applying some on. I just felt like wanting to use a gloss. My nose gets really itchy. Um, now I'm going to apply some Duo Lash Glue in the shade Black. Because I'm going to apply some falsies on. And I forgot to apply some mascara before doing this. But you know it's okay everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days now we're um letting that dry and we're gonna apply the apply them and hey i know you guys can't see me but i'm applying my lashes on camera because i never do that now we're done with one eye now two now we're gonna apply some mascara and this is a tart mascara i'm not sure which one it's like the one with the anchor um, what am I doing here? I think, oh, I'm applying mascara to the bottom my, of my lashes. Now we are done with the look. And yeah, wow, guys, we finished. So there you go, guys. That's the final look. And I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And keep on watching my videos. And yeah, bye, guys.